So let's work on the initial upload screen and we'll implement the ClipChamp button which will allow us to actually upload this video to Amazon S3. So we've already looked at uploading with Amazon S3 and I have my bucket and my folder just open here just so I can make sure that the videos are being uploaded. We're going to handle the storing of the source now database a bit later. So there's a few things we need to do, but we're going to start on the index.php file. Remember I said we're going to be creating our roots just down here. Of course, feel free to separate them out into different files just to tidy things up. So of course, what we're going to have here is this on our home page. So we have our normal closure just here with our request, our response, and any arguments. So this is as simple as just returning a view. So let's return this view. Remember we have view attached to our container here. And then here we're going to render out, we're going to pass through our response and we're going to choose the name of the view. So let's just go back to this here. You can see here that I have this set up to pull from app views. So why don't we just create that view in here? This is our home view. So we're going to call it home.twig. And let's just write home in there so we know it works. So now I just write in here home.twig and we're done. So now we see home. Great. So we know that we have our template. So on home, we can actually extend this template and then place the content into here where we have this main block. So for this, then all we do is we have our extends. And then we choose the file name. In this case, it's templates app.twig. We have our block here, which is called main. And all we do down here is just end that block. So here now we should see something looking slightly different. And we've already come across the error, but this is fine. So the reason this is happening is over in our app template, we have here a link to path for home. And this is the actual logo that we can click on to go back to the home page at any time. So we need to set a name for our root. So all we do is set the name here to home. Pretty straightforward. And this works. So you can see we've got our logo here. We can click it and we have that content in there. OK, so just to finish off the just base template of this, then we want a row in here. We want a column of six or six columns rather. But we also want to offset this. So we're going to say column offset by three. And inside of here, we want a panel. Again, this is just bootstrap classes that we're using. And we also want a panel default. So if you want to head over to the bootstrap documentation, you'll find all of this in here. So now we want to inside of here, say panel body. This is just again, bootstrap classes. And this is where our button will go. So we now have a fairly nice looking home page that we can land on. Let's start to get our ClipChamp button set up. So to do this, I'm going to use an anchor. I'm going to give this an ID. Uh, we can set the href to hash. We have an ID here of video upload. That's what we'll target with JavaScript in order for the ClipChamp button to render here. And we'll also give this a class video upload button because we have some styles attached to this. And in here, we'll say upload a video. We won't see this text, but it helps just to have it there anyway. So let's just take a little peek at the video upload button styles. So let's scroll down. You can see we're displaying that button as a block and we're aligning it centrally. So this will just appear in the center. And of course, now we just need to work on actually attaching this with JavaScript. So we're going to create our JavaScript file over here. And this is going to be called app.js. Remember over in our app template, we load this in down here. So now we just see this. We haven't got our clip champ button, but we want to go ahead and do that now. So let's go and just first of all, check if we have an element on the page called video upload. And we can do that by using the length property after we've grabbed that with jQuery. And this just helps because if we don't have it on there, we don't want to try and attach a clip champ button to an element that doesn't exist. So inside of here, then, as we've seen before, we want to say video upload dot clip champ. And then inside of here, all of our options. So let's just run through these just so they're a little bit clearer. 
Remember we have a label here. In this case, it's going to be upload a video. We have a size. In our case, this is the button size. So we can just say medium. We have a title. So we're going to say get your video uploaded. We have a preset here of mobile. We have a format here as well. And we're going to go for MP4. We have a resolution. And we'll say 480p. Compression, we're going to set to high. And now we can specify what inputs we want to accept. So in our case, we want to go full out and accept both file and also the camera as well. It makes sense to use both of these. Okay, so next we're going to move on to the output. Now we've already seen this. I'm using Amazon S3 and let's define our S3 settings just in here. This is an object. We have a bucket, which in my case is video upload.codecourse.com and the folder that we want to upload to is called videos. So let's also just up here before we forget set some limits for the camera. So for example, we might want a limit of 60 here. Okay, so after this then, we're just going to enable a couple of additional things or rather just one additional thing, I think. And that is that we don't want it to say thank you after we've uploaded because we want to head straight over to the video. So we're going to uh, disable the thank you. Okay, so Apart from this, we also need our on upload complete callback. So let's go and just quickly do this, but we're not actually going to implement anything here at all. So on upload complete, we have a callback just here and we have the details about the video. And what we can do is just console log them here just so we can see them. What we're going to do later is use an Ajax request here to send this through. And once that's been successful, we're going to redirect the user to their video page, which they can go ahead and share. Okay, so assuming we've done everything correctly here, we should now see our ClipChamp button. So if we click on this, we get our ClipChamp screen up. We can go and drag a video over, or of course record from our webcam as well. And once we're happy with this, we can go and submit it. So we'll head over to S3 and check that this has been uploaded. And that looks okay. So if we go over here and just give this a refresh, you can see that that video is actually there. And if we bring up our console, we should see an object just here. And of course we have a file name and we also have a key. Now this is the important part. This is the location to the video on Amazon S3. So we have all the information we need so we can send that through to the back end. We can save that in the database really easily. Once we do that, we'll generate a hash we'll return the hash and we'll redirect the user to the right URL. So if you've got this far, you're good to go. Move on to the next part where we'll look at actually storing this in the database.